Hey guys, this is Colin with VQ Warbirds uh, to do the out of box review of the A24 Banshee. Uh, this is the 80 inch model, and these are uh, these are all the parts that will come to you in the box. You've already unboxed it, taken a look at it. Nothing's damaged. It was good, good packaging. Everything looks good. Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple things. So it comes with the instruction manual as usual. It comes with your control rods. I believe there's rods in there for the dive brakes as well. This is the rudder. Um, these are supposed to be pre-glued. I'm probably going to put a pin through them anyway, just for safe safety. Uh, something like a toothpick. If you just glue in, you drill a hole, glue in through the middle. And I will do a build highlights video as well uh, with this airplane just to uh, show you guys some of the tips and tricks that I've done. This is the left wing. It has the dive brakes on it. Beautiful underside. The right wing as well. As you can see, there was no damage in packaging. They package these things very well. It's got the beautiful stars on it. This is the elevator. Once again, this one is not pre-hinged. The hinges are in, but it is not glued. So keep mind, be mindful of that. Um, I believe the ailerons are glued on this, but uh, I'm still going to put a toothpick through the center of them. Dive brakes uh, will need to be glued. Uh, this is the bomb that it comes with. Uh, if I've seen correctly, you can make this droppable, but I'm not sure yet if I will. This is the fuel tank. It comes with uh, parts box, parts bag, uh, random things, control horns, all the screws, wheel collars. That type of stuff also has the machine guns in there for the gunner on the back. This is the wooden parts for the bomb, as you can see. Uh, it has a center section that goes through it. You make the bomb mount out of these and a few other things. Um, this is for fixed gear. If you want the fixed gear option, I'm going to be putting a pair of Robart retracts with scale wheels on this. So I will not be using these. Um, this is the dummy radial. Uh, I can paint it up. We'll paint it up real nice. It can be painted up and use the aluminum wire in it, aluminum tubing, to um, really set it off and look like um, cylinders in there. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a very detailed pilot as well as a tail gunner. Very nice uh, paint job on it. Very, very good quality detail. Uh, it comes with a set of decals to use on it. These are the uh, decals, they leave them off. So if you would like to do a different color scheme on it, you absolutely can. It's uh, completely up to you. Here's the cowling that it comes with. It's a very nice cowling. I've noticed that it uh, seems seems pretty rigid for what it is. I mean, it's it's it looks like it's really, really tough and not, not, not going to crack or anything on you. These are the wheels it comes with. Once again, I'll be using scale wheels on this one, so I will not be I will not be using these wheels. Walk over to this side, and I'll show you guys the center section of the wing. All right, this is the center section. It does come with the aluminum tube. It goes through the entire wing and slots onto both sides of the wing. Um, I believe this is meant to be a single-piece wing. So that being said, um, you glue each each wing side onto the center section, and then it comes off with two bolts. Um, I was surprised at how nice this tube fits in there. It's a very tight fit in there. Extremely nice. As you can see, they have uh, wheel wells around. Uh, very beautiful, already painted for you guys. And of course, the uh, bottom flap, mid flap. This would be the fuselage. As you can see, it's a very nice looking fuselage underside of it very nice I noticed the firewall on this seems extremely extremely rigid extremely strong VQ they're they just keep improving their products so I can't wait to get this bird in the air I'll be powering it with a um, EME 35 CC with electric start on it I'll have high-tech 645 MG servos in it as well as micro servers I haven't decided on which but those will go on the flaps and dive brakes and then I will have, um, it'll be powered by a Spectrum Power Save Receiver. 
Um, and that's basically it. So I will let you guys know how it goes. I will probably post an update um, later on on the channel just showing you anything that I've done noticed in the build that needs looked over or any modifications I've done to help parts fit better or stronger. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys.